Well, this is going to be uh, our second attempt to cross into self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic. Right behind me is, it says Matveev Kurgan, that's the border crossing. We see one, two, three uh, TV crews, most likely local ones. Uh, I have scheduled, it's kind of cold, it's windy. I have scheduled interview with uh, the leader of Donetsk People's Republic, uh, self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, Mr. Pushilin, a little bit later in the day. So anyway, I'm going to try to cross now. Hopefully this time will everything be fine and by the end of the of the day I should be in Donetsk. So it took around four to five hours for me to cross from Russian Federation to Donetsk People's Republic self-proclaimed uh, territory. So uh, it took a lot of administration, both on the Russian side and DPR's side. But eventually I did manage to cross the border. Uh, in total I spent, from those four and a half, five hours, I spent two hours outside waiting in very, very cold and windy area. Uh, right now we are heading on a private car towards Donetsk. It will take roughly around one hour to get there. So far we haven't seen any kind of military activity or whatsoever. There is a lot of people actually coming from Russia to this way, heading this way. And 99% of them are women and children. Apparently they are returning home. And that's pretty much it so far. So this is the famous Ilovaisk. Right here in 2014, a huge battles between separatist forces and Ukrainian forces took place. And it was one of the major defeats of Ukrainian forces who were defeated by the uh, Donetsk forces. Another several several trucks, huge Ural trucks, military trucks, some of them with the letter Z or Z. So we are entering Donetsk. This is 15 kilometers to the city center. And this is all Soviet style sign that we are entering. Donetsk.